do you think that anything in your past, uh, you know, the fact that you yourself were attacked as a five-year-old or six-year-old yeah. um, and raped, do you think, you know, the fact that you were in an orphanage for a time, do you think the fact that your dad loved guns and, and you, you know, you described him as mad, do you think that shaped you? I've never stopped to, um, to analyse the... Uh, I've never stopped to analyse it. Um, I've never... I've never drawn it or given it any great thought. What, what makes me tick? It really, it, it amuses me when other people say, "Oh, I know you." Uh, why is that? Oh, I've spent so much time with you. I know you. We don't know what makes anyone tick. You know, we, we, everyone's a mystery to everyone, and everyone is a mystery to themselves. I believe. Well, I just didn't like the I didn't like the faces of the people of the opposition. They they when I arrived in B Division, they seemed to have everything under control. They were making all the home brews and getting all the dope in and organising everything and running around the place like kingpins. And uh, so I thought I'd um, I'd rectify the situation. And we uh, had some homemade axes made up in the engineer shop, and there was me and uh, a couple of other friends. I, I made them wear overcoats, and we wore, we had axes up our sleeves, and we went around and uh, and dealt with the situation. The secret to winning a war is to is to love something your your, um, your enemy doesn't like it. My enemy didn't even like being in jail. I loved it. My enemy didn't like being in haste division. I loved it. My enemy didn't like um, having to get up every Monday morning and watch watch for low flying pocket knives and low flying hammers and whether they're going to get attacked that day and who they'd have to attack that day to survive. I loved it. Right? Did you really love? Well, it? I loved the the, the, the um, the cut and thrust of, um, of um, all this sort of stuff going on in the jail. See that on yeah. the camera? That's the tumour. Look at that. That's a pretty big tumour, isn't it? Yeah, that's a big tumour. Look at the size of the bastard. Oh, Is that one thing you are frightened of? Well, I don't like the look of it. <laughs> I don't like the look of it. It's growing in me guts. I don't like the look of it. <laughs> oh, yeah. One shot to my head, one shot to Renee's. Are you ready, Renee? I don't think I want to play. Are you ready? You don't want to play. Bad luck. <laughs> What does it feel like to kill someone? Didn't feel anything at all. Nothing. Nothing. <sighs> An adrenaline rush? No, didn't feel a thing. No. I didn't get no adrenaline rush, nothing. Fear? No, nothing. No sense of fear. No sense of foreboding or anything like that, nothing. No. Sense of power? No, no, no sense of power. Nothing like that at all. No. Mm. So sense of looking over your shoulder, did anyone see it? That's about it. Mm. Mm.
What do you expect me to say? This violence that you have in you, yeah. the rage that you have in you. Oh, it's not did a you, rage, it's not a rage. Did you, did you learn it or did you, were you born with it, do you reckon? Uh, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I, uh, what does your family think of your line of work? My father was... <laughs> he was tickled pinky. <laughs> He'd roll around the floor right, laughing. And uh, my mother was uh, horrified into, into absolute um, denial. She just used to uh, um, say that she was no, rel no, rel no relative of mine. She thought you were mad, didn't she? Yeah, she always believed me to be insane, you know. Yeah. How much did it hurt? Oh, it hurt like hell. It really bloody hurt. You know, I, I've got a great tolerance to pain. I didn't yell out or anything, but it bloody well hurt. Oh, oh, oh. And Kevin Taylor's got the ear like that and he's gone. I said, what are you doing? He said, I'm, I'm trying to be gentle, mate. I said, you're an idiot. I said, you don't hack someone's ears off gently. I said, you hack through them, hack through them. Nyeh, like that. And put some muscle into it, right? And he's going straight through, right? And he's going, uh, uh, uh. he says, You're not going to bash me later, are you? I said, No, come in, do the other one. I'm going to look at an idiot with one ear, aren't I? Razor blade, you wrapped it in toilet paper. So how did you work up the character and the voice? I find the voice is a, 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 a pretty instinctual. The thing that helps when you meet someone is you get a, you get a sense of the rhythm. So initially you might you might think to yourself, well, geez, I reckon I have a pretty good bloody go at the voice. And then what happens is you meet them and then you start being able to get the rhythms. You get the rhythms and you start working on it. You know what I mean? And then you just, I don't know, obviously the more research you do and the more you, you look into these things, the, the stronger your performance gets. So you're not going to get me then, Keithy? Uh, you're not worth doing any more time over you, Maggie. Oh, Keithy, you get off on self-defence. All you've got to do is kill me, present me psychiatric records to the court. There's not a jury in the land that will convict you. The gang war was so extreme and Chopper so enigmatic, they made the movie Chopper. He in turn became an international cult hero, this part comedian. Beethoven had his critics too, Keith. See if you can name three of them. Part monster. What do you think your judgment day will bring? Do you think there's a big penitentiary up in the sky, big pentridge in the sky? Well, if there was a big pentridge in the sky, um, I suppose there'd be a place there for me. <laughs> I wonder who'd be in it. Probably place would be empty, wouldn't it, because it'd be in heaven. <laughs> I'd be the only person up there. <laughs> I would. I'm the only person I could think of going to heaven. 
Really? Yeah. From my world. <laughs> That's what it's all about. This is the last interview, the last picture show. Does your word mean anything? Don't question me about my bloody well word. That's all I'm saying to you. That's it. Four is all you're getting, and that four, that's, that's it. Four, that's it. That's it. I haven't killed any more than that. And don't try to tell me, don't try to make out that I have. I guess the point is that uh, you have said in the past, you put a television camera in the room and you'll lay your head off. Oh, yeah, yeah of course I Yeah, <laughs> right. But I'm, uh, I'm telling the truth now. Hello, I'm Tara Brown. Thanks for watching 60 Minutes Australia. Subscribe to our channel now for brand new stories and exclusive clips every week. And don't miss out on our extra minutes segments and full episodes of 60 Minutes on 9now.com.au and the 9now app.